Today we are going to speak about how best we, uh, the file plan will need to be maintained for proper record management. And again, before we proceed, I would like to urge you not to forget to subscribe to the channel so that uh, when uh, the new videos becomes available, you are notified of them so that you can access them immediately. And if the video was of great interest to you, uh, you are welcome to give it a thumbs up so that I can see that we are on the right track. And uh, don't forget to share with uh, other students and colleagues so that uh, you uh, can show a care to them. And uh, more importantly, if you have a question or a comment, you are more than welcome to post it uh, on this channel so that we can discuss uh, you are your questions or misunderstanding further. Maintenance of the file plan. File plan, if, even after uh, after it has been developed and uh, implemented in implementation, it needs to be maintained. You just you just don't create and dump and say people use for the rest of their life. So the master copy will need to be kept safe because this is an evidence, it contains evidence about uh, approval of your file plan and everything. Because if, for example, the uh, approving authority can come and request for evidence because they may not always know whether you were approved or not based on the number of uh, file plans, especially the archive they been approving you will be able to use it to prove that uh, your file plan was uh, approved. And the file should be opened only when necessary. You don't have to open a file without uh, the record being received or filed inside the, that uh, file. So this will help to avoid misfiling of unnecessary empty folders because uh, it is also a misconduct to open a file without a record uh, inside and it can make your filing it is organized and uh, chaos and uh, one key thing is that you need to develop the necessary control registers like the register for circulation register for distribution of records register for receiving new records in the registry and many more there are many registers that need to be developed to track the file movement. And uh, refer your references uh, for records which are being submitted into the, in the register for filing need to be checked and corrected. So some it may happen that some of the officials who are creating records may put the wrong reference because they are not familiar or they cannot understand your file plan or they are just in hurry. They don't have time they put in, they can put any reference they like and when it comes to registry you must uh, take the file plan and uh, verify whether the reference is correct and if it's not correct you correct it and normally you may put it in your procedure manuals and policy to say it can be corrected with a red pen and uh, the correct reference may be written on the right top right and corner of your your record so that the record can be filed in the correct file to avoid accidental disposal during uh, the disposal period because when disposal come we are not going to look at the records one by one but files will just be retrieved according to the retention periods and the disposal will happen and your file plan must also be regularly reviewed when uh, times time the right time come or when becomes necessary like if your organizational structure has been reviewed or new functions has been added you will need to review your file plan to add new, those new functions in the in the file plan or you may review it uh, after a certain period let's say three years or five years 
to add the references that were discovered missing during the usage of the file player. Thank you for watching. Again, do not forget to like, comment, or share the video. And more importantly, subscribe so that you are notified of any video that becomes available through the channel.